What is your role and the general dentist role in dental implant treatment? Dental implants is a collaborative effort between the restorative dentist and the surgeon. They talk together about your case to figure out exactly where that implant needs to be placed to provide the best restorative restoration possible for you. Now my job as a surgeon, one, is to place the implant in the best possible position for your restorative dentist because nobody comes to the surgeon's office just for the implant. You come to get the implant placed so it can be very nicely and functionally restored with either a tooth or a larger prosthesis. The success rate of dental implants is around 97%. Now to maintain that success rate, we are reliant on having a good bone as well as soft tissue environment for the implant to be seated into. If you think about it, your teeth and the dental implant crown or prosthesis is gonna handle hundreds of pounds per square inch of chewing. And so it's absolutely important that we have a good bone environment to surround that dental implant. Due to this, when your surgeon evaluates you, he may suggest that you have need a round of bone grafting or even soft tissue grafting prior to having that implant placed. The focus of this is to make sure we have a good environment to place your implant into so the long-term success of that implant and the restoration is very high. So the restorative dentist's responsibility is providing you that final restoration. Sometimes prior to providing the final restoration, they'll place a temporary restoration, especially in the front area, which is called the aesthetic zone, and that's to help mold the gum tissues so that they're in nice configuration for that final restoration. And I think patients would probably be surprised at exactly how much communication and collaboration there is between the surgeon and the dentist kind of behind the scenes about their case, but that's absolutely essential for us to have a great final outcome.